I'm Danielle, one of the prolotherapists at Keurig Medical, and I'm going to talk to you a little bit today about Achilles tendon pain and how we use uh, the ultrasound machine to help us with both diagnosis and treatment. So we do see a lot of patients uh, with Achilles tendon pain, often avid athletes, you know, runners, um, people that do a lot of hiking, um, and sort of of that nature. And so when they have uh, Achilles tendon pain and come see us, we can actually use the ultrasound machine to help us one, you know, find out do they have a tear, is it really degenerated, uh, and two, even help us to guide injections into specific areas of injury. So I'm going to show you here, uh, we got already got some jelly on here, and this ultrasound probe, and the Achilles tendon, as it comes down here, we're actually going to look at all of it. So we'll kind of start up here, and kind of work our way down, and look to see you know, does the tendon look okay? Is it not thickened? Are there no tears? Um, there's no extra fluid? And then kind of come down here. I'm going to move your leg like this here. And also look at its attachment on the heel. You know, is it healthy? Looks great. Is there a tear again that's pulling on the heel? Um, and so forth. And we'll also look at it. This is just a very uh, quick exam, quick example, but we'll look at it this way as well, um, looking for any kind of intersubstance tears or whatnot. Sometimes what will happen is that you might, you know, look at this and think, oh gosh, maybe it is a little thick, maybe it's not. And the great thing about ultrasound is that it's so easy to just take some goo and, and hop over to the other side and compare the two together. So we can look and see, okay, is it normal? Is it a little bit thicker than the other side? You know, is there something that's showing up on one side and not the other? And give us a really good example of what's going on. Oftentimes, uh, what we find is that patients with chronic, Achille, uh, chronic Achilles pain, excuse me, have degeneration. You know, it's not so much that the tendon is inflamed or that there's a tear, it's just that they're starting to lose cells in the tendon and it's degenerated. So what we'll do is we'll actually, you know, do prolotherapy, do injections to regenerate that tendon. And like I said, we can guide it into specific areas um, that are, are more injured than others with the patient.